the United States is, is different from other countries uh, because there's uh, the states in America have a much stronger uh, self-governing power than uh, the, uh, occurs in other countries. Most countries, you think the federal government uh, has control. But in a way, the United States leads a lot of uh, uh, lo decisions to its localities and its states. When the Constitution was written, the southern states wanted to make sure that there would be slavery. The American Constitution was written to preserve slavery. And uh, in order to preserve slavery, it forbid the federal government to be able to regulate society or the economy, or most of all, to, to free the slaves. So uh, the Southern states were able to claim states' rights as the essence of the American Constitution. So uh, uh, most uh, foreigners look at, well, what did the Constitution say? But uh, if you want to understand American policy, you would say, what are the state's rights? Well, uh, the federal government said that the Texas had been putting barbed wire all across the Rio Grande River so that if uh, refugees are caught, created by the American military dictatorships that it's put across all of Central America, Hillary Clinton uh, promoted a coup d'etat to put uh, the criminals in charge of Honduras. Americans uh, have been fighting against land reformers in Guatemala. Uh, the United States has waged war against the uh, Latin American population uh, ever since uh, World War II. And if you're going to kill the labor leaders, kill the uh, advocates of women's rights, kill the uh, people who go to uh, college and get educated, uh, you're going to create refugees. And so to prevent these refugees, from taking advantage of international law, which requires countries to let refugees in on humanitarian ground, then you're not allowed to put barbed wire in to make sure that they bleed uh, heavily and get uh, wounded while trying to get entry into the United States. Well, President Biden and uh, ordered federal troops in to come and take away the barbed wire along the borders. And uh, Texas and uh, California said, no, no, we need the barbed wire to keep the barbarians out to prevent them from entering. And so now there's a movement in Texas. Uh, well, well, maybe we just have to resign from the United States, withdraw from the United States. And California says, well, maybe we should withdraw from the United States, too. So uh, you, uh, the question is, uh, 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 for the last, uh, I think, uh, 10 or 20 years, America's talked about Will Russia break up? Will China break up? How can we uh, break them up into region? Well, it turns out that all of a sudden you're having the regional strains in the United States saying, well, uh, the Constitution gives us state rights. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the uh, uh, recent cases in the Supreme Court was uh, federal agencies wanted to prevent uh, 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 pollution and uh, asking that uh, uh, one of the, uh, that the companies had to pay for, for the cleanup costs of their own pollution. Well, uh, the, uh, the companies uh, went to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court says uh, the federal government has no uh, uh, regulatory power over uh, what happens in the 50 states of America because uh, the, uh, the administrators the uh, the specialists who aren't elected, the appointees who run the uh, Environmental Protection Agency, uh, the every government agency is staffed by professional uh, professional administrators, bureaucrats, uh, and uh, the the uh, Supreme Court ruled that uh, is uh, being asked to rule that uh, bureaucrats uh, have no power uh, over what local states decide. So you're having the whole uh, centrifugal force in, in America, this, this political disgust with both the Republican and the Democratic Party pulling the country apart politically so that it's not possible even to have a uniform rule of law that is imposed in a way to clean up the environment when it's polluted, to prevent uh, uh, criminal activities, uh, to regulate banks, to regulate uh, the pharmaceutical industry. There's a complete uh, breakdown 
of uh, the uh, uh, the rule of law here, uh, and that's what uh, uh, the Democrats call a rules based economy. A rules based economy means an anarchy. It means libertarianism. It means there are the rule is power. Uh, it means rule through the guns. Well, you have the Republican uh, Party members very heavily arming themselves with guns. Americans have more guns than I think any other country. There are more guns than people in many states, United States, especially the South and the rural West. So you're really having the possibility of uh, some kind of uh, revolution occurring in uh, the November 2024 presidential election here that will be much more widespread than you saw on January 6, 2021, you know, for the famous march on uh, the Capitol that really was fairly ineffective. You'll have something much more serious probably this November. Nobody knows what's going to happen.当西方的资本可以通过新殖民主义的全球化任何一个国家都应该尊重诚实劳动